Welcome to Wizard Gaming, Wizard's my name. This map is brought to you by GNG Modding. Under permission, I've been able to, um, been allowed to modify this map, um, in a little bit. So, let's get into the Grandad's farm and see what happens. Okay, let's uh, head over to the farm. Um, this Let's Play is um, going to be a series. Let's see what Uncle's got to say. Welcome, partner. Your grandpa left you this farm. That needs a lot of work to get it in shape. Do you have what it takes to do that? Well, let's just find out how good you really are. <laughs> Now, I do believe uh, this is where I'll be staying. Um, Grandpa's house. Now, let's go inside and um, read a letter he sent to me. Okay, well, here's a look at the letter that the granddad sent me. Now, let's go over. This must be one of the, um... John Deere's. He doesn't want me to sell. John Deere 60. There's Grandad's, uh, John Deere service truck. Which we'll probably put a coat of paint on for him. When we get round to it. Ah, uh, this would be the other John Deere. I'd say. 4955. We've got a Massey Ferguson, 265, an old cedar, or planter, maybe, some plough, uh, cultivator, muck spreader, probably a lime or fertilizer spreader, got a fuel bowser, fuel tanker, water supply. Uh, Grandad was buying in manure, so we'll be right there. Small trailer, an old sprayer. Uh, this must be the um, baler that Grandad's having a problem with, the 568. We've got a bale wrapper, another trailer. This is Grandad's combine. When you know it, someone's stolen the head the head of trailer. Strange. Okay. Uh, this is um, the sheep area. Yeah, the sheep area that Granddad's got. There's a water tanker over there for the sheep. I was like, Grandad put this shed up, knew I was coming. Got a round baler, or bale pickup. Up through the bushes. Uh, John Deere cedar by the looks of it, an old army truck with some uh, seed and fertilizer. Grandad's dairy. Get out of 
over here. We've got another uh, trailer. Some bales already done. Some silage already done. Another water tank by the side of it. We've got a slurry tanker. Not quite sure what the trailer is at the back. That this here looks to be a um, a bale shredder of some sort. Uh, let's have a look. We got a spreader for the silage. Probably a front weight or back weight. Granddad must have put a bridge in here. Uh, this little workshop here is where Granddad used to play with some stuff, electronics and whatever. We've got an outdoor workshop, a pressure washer, and indoor workshop. With a welder, air compressor, tool boxes, welder. Now that's in case it rains. A couple of battery chargers. Got a trailer, dump trailer. Uh, an old Kenworth um, 521 by the looks of it. An old she Chevrolet pick uh, dumper. Looks like we've got a few fields growing. Uh, let's see, we've got some old silos. I think you've got some stuff in there. We'll have to check. Got a barn. Got a um, silo. We're uh, dropping off the um, the produce. Now I have it on good terms that this stores. TMR for the cows and pig food. So that should be fine. Just have to make some. Now, I'll take you over to here and explain what's happening. The Kenworth 900 is actually mine that I brought from Australia, along with the JVC and the John Deere, uh, which came from Australia. The two trailers I've got rented, so I'm going to have to send them back when we uh, get set up. Okay, let's um, let's jump into the tractor and uh, start her up. You can tell it's an old tractor. Oh, come on. No. Okay. We'll just sneak through the bushes here, there's a little opening, so... Now this looks like Grandad's horse paddock, so... Um, we'll have to get some horses at the moment, there's nothing uh, on the property. Another bale shredder. Another water tank. That's the chickens, the chicken area. Now I do believe, um, not without having a map of Grandad, which we haven't got, that a lot of these, or most of these fields are all Grandad's. Um, so we did have a big uh, stake in this valley. Um, this is a grass field that can be um, cut and uh, for the horses and the cows, etc. I cut through this hedge here. Now this should be Grandad's um, piggery. So we'll go down this way. Looks like someone's uh, 
got some implements here for me already. Uh, this little thing off to the right is a water fill point, so we don't have to travel too far to get water. Got another old trailer there. Slurry trailer. Another um, bale shredder. And a water tanker. Now this field off to the left is also Grandad's, I do believe. We can actually get fuel from the Bowser over there. Um, I'll just duck into here. Now, this location here is a, one of the cell points on the map. Um, selling uh, some of your produce. There's a lime cell point there, or buy point. They've got a forklift here for us to use. Bales, stuff like that. It's also the local um, tractor dealer. They sell mainly John Deere, but they do sell others. Now this sell point here sells cotton bales and wool bales. On this let's play, due to the um, cost of the cotton, machinery, we probably won't be using cotton. Now, that's one of Grandad's fields as well. I've got a little quiz uh, coming up on this sign. They pay a bit of attention to it. Now we're heading into town, go down through the water. Now this is the uh, milk drop-off point where we get some cows. Bring it here and drop it off. Try not to run over anybody. Now, up in this location is where you sell your wood and your wood chips. Um, we will be doing um, some logging. Uh, once I sort out what's actually uh, we're going to do or modify or as far as fields go, we might have to clear some trees. Now we'll go down to the railway, which is just down here if I don't run over this person. Right, this is the other drop-off point uh, on the map, it's the railway area. Now we cross the bridge, cross the railway here. It's like a Sunday drive. <laughs> Now coming up on the left is the grass field, we're there to mow. On the right is where Grandad used to have his stables. We'll just pop up here. There's a fuel bowser, pressure washer and mechanical area to repair things. Now, this is a grass cutter, which is the grass cutting implement over there. We've also got a trail behind for a lawnmower or for a tractor. I do believe these are for rowing and heading grasses. So we'll get back into that a bit uh, more in the near future. Okay, let's go for a quick look. This is all going to be mowed. This is Grandad's uh, 
couple of stables. We're looking at moving the horses over here when we uh, get round to it. Now, this is an old TAFE uh, 42DI, seen better days. I'm assuming this picks up grass, strut, whole, um, grass maybe, um, straw, hay. I don't know, I'll have to look into it. Uh, Grandad's got some very old equipment here that uh, we might have to um, modernise slightly. I'll just cut through the field, won't hurt. Now, Grandad said that I'm only allowed to, I've got to keep this, his service truck and his other John Deere. So we might look at um, selling a few tractors and a few things. Um, bringing in some stuff that could probably be a bit pretty beneficial uh, to the running of the farm. Um, but we're not going overboard. Um, and all this grass and trees we can cut down, that's no problem. This is a um, little house that Granddad's got up for rent, or is renting. We've got to mow around it every so often, tidy it up. And we've got a lot to do on this map, so... Um, it'll be rather, rather a busy let's play. Duck off here, won't hurt. See if I don't get stuck on a little tree. Okay, this is one of uh, Randad's fields, also. As I said, he did own a lot of uh, um, a lot of this area due to his illness. He uh, can't do it anymore and that's one of the reasons I'm here. Dad's looking after the farm in Australia and uh, I've come over here to uh, look after this one for Grandad. Another field for Grandad, right here. When I get a feel for things I'll um, we'll see what we can uh, expand, etc. Plenty of grass, plenty of grass, plenty of room. Now this field here, my uncle said, is the potato field. So we're going to run either potatoes or sugar beets in here, not necessarily for um, for sale, but mainly for pig food. So, okay, we've got a couple of silos up here, so we don't have to keep carting from one place to the other. Not sure if they're full yet, but. Uh, We'll have to uh, check that out a little bit later on. We've got a service area, a pressure washer, got diesel. I think Uncle's got something clean for me. Just uh, get out of the tractor. I wonder if he's uh, saying we've got to plant something. This is an old. Uh, Armel International Tractor, I think. Uh, that's a harvester, and I haven't got a clue 
that'll be either a potato or sugar beet planter. We'll see it in here. That'll be either a lime or a fertilizer spreader. Very good. Okay, well, let's uh, try to log back to the uh, main farm. Might take you for a run up here for a minute. Um, just give you a look at the area. Yeah, there's plenty of trees, so we can make a bit more, a bit of extra cash if we need it. There's plenty of stuff here to mow. Way. In actual fact, the main farm you'll find is just off to our left. Um, we'll see how we go. here and should be right. Now off to the right here is the animal dealer where we can buy our animals when we're ready. Yeah, it looks like a little picnic area. There's a bloke there fishing, so I better not disturb him, scare off the fish. Yeah, nice place to relax. Granddad's fields on the right. Oh, that's a bit of a tour. Um, I'll show you the bottom fields in a minute. What I'll do, I may as well hook up that um, baler that's playing up and I'll cart it down to the um, workshop. I can have a look at it after this and see if we can get it fixed. Getting a new um, uh, trailer, F trailer. Well, might have to use the other tractor. Okay.
Oh, let's go get a tractor and we'll uh, all that um, all that bale around to the um, workshop. Then I'll finish off with a little tour of the bottom of the uh, the farm. My dog's still in quarantine, so uh, he will be turning up uh, probably in a few weeks' time. Let's have a look. The not customise or repair this vehicle. Okay. I might have to get someone in to have a look at that. <coughs> not today. I've been driving all night, so. We'll get someone in to look at it in the morning. Soybeans and still growing. I might have to find a few other jobs to do. And what's this one? That's wheat and growing. Oats and growing. And sunflowers and growing. Good. Looks like we haven't got any harvesting to do straight away. Um, so 
or um, but I'll probably get a uh, mechanic tomorrow or the next day whenever he's free to come and have a look at the um, the bailer uh, if that's not going to be too expensive or we'll, uh, either fix it or we'll have to uh, get a new one. I'm going to drop my tractor in here at the moment. Keep it out of the weather. series that's going to last for a while. Um, so, there's a lot to do on this map, there's a lot of plan to do on this map, and we'll um, need some input on to what we're uh, going to do. Get around here with that engine trailer. Okay, back. Um, yeah, so if worse comes to worse with the bailer, we uh, Still logged off. Now let's see.
but it's just over here out of the way. Not quite on the scrap heap, but Okay, uh, thank you for watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe, ring the uh, bell, hit the bell, it'll let, let you know that there's uh, more up and coming content. Uh, yes, this is a modification, I've got both flags flying, one for Australia, one for America. Okay, thank you very much for watching. My name's Wizard. This channel is Wizard Gaming. And until next time, hooroo, and thank you for watching.